Well, CyberDogs, I will be the first to admit that this may not have been the most lucrative mining adventure we've ever been on. But I think you will agree, it's been one of the funnest, man. And most importantly, we are going back to Mole City with three acacia saplings, which is all that we are going to need to start a new acacia grove. Plus, we have found ourselves a savannah biome and we have found six freaking diamonds to take home. So it has been one heck of an adventure, my friends. Welcome back to another episode, by the way, of Minecraft Survival with me, Ren Diggity Dog. In the previous in this episode, we ventured deep underneath the savanna biome in search of diamonds and we managed to find some. In this episode, we are starting the epic odyssey back home to the mole hole. I have no idea whether or not we're going to be able to make it. One of the things that really concerns me, my friends, is an ocean or a lake. Because right now, we are mounted on this righteous steed whose name is Rocky. And Rocky is taking us all the way back home. But if we come up against an ocean, we have got serious problems. I'm thinking that we probably what we need to do on our way home is stop into a swamp biome if we can find one and make for ourselves a lead so that if we do come across some sort of an ocean or some sort of a lake that is going to stop our journey back home, we will be able to make a boat and drag Rocky all the way across the ocean. That is the plan. We did it with Big Mac the Mushroom. We can do it with Rocky the Horse. So uh, yeah. <laughs> That is kind of the plan, my friends. I'm just going to be following my compass. You can see that it's pointing in this direction. And actually, let's have a quick look at our um, at our compass over here. Just figure out which direction we're facing. We are facing east. So home is all the way to the east, just in case we ever lose a compass. And on, actually, that doesn't make any sense because it just depends where you are in the world, right? Yeah, ignore that. Geography fail. Face palm. <laughs> but I'm just going to be trying to follow my compass all the way home. We're going to have to navigate our way through a ton of different biomes, I think. This is, journey is probably going to take us half an hour to an hour, I, I suppose. I have no idea how far we are uh, from home. But I'm guessing that it is a long ass way. And of course, we are not traveling by the nether, so we can't speed up the process either. And Rocky doesn't like traveling through trees very much, so it does hinder our progress a little bit. Freaking damn horse. Look at this, man. I can't get through anywhere here. Oh, Rocky, you drive me crazy. But anyway, guys, while we are traversing, I want to tell you guys a little bit of news that I wanted to share with you guys. Uh, and man, I am so, so excited about this news that I, you know, I want to share it with the whole Cyberdog Nation. In exactly seven days' time, I am getting on an airplane and I'm flying all the way back to South Africa, my home country, to spend the entire month of October with my family. And it is going to be absolutely amazing, guys. I can't tell you how excited I am about it. I haven't seen my family um, in real life <laughs> for about a year and a half now. Of course, we Skype all the time. But, you know, Skype isn't quite the same as being able, able to hug your mama dog or, uh, you know, wrestle with your brother or, <laughs> or all of that sort of thing. So I am so, so, so excited about it. Um, you know, I, I basically haven't had a holiday uh, since the last time I went to South Africa, which, which was all the way last year, April, or before, I think it was even before April, I think. Uh, but it was a long time ago. And since then, I have just been working solidly. And isn't that, look at that. Man, that, that is some really cool uh, biome generation over there, right? These mountains. That is really cool. I've never seen something like that before. Goodness gracious, man. Let's go do a little bit of exploration there. It looks really cool. So yes, in exactly a week's time, um, Chavin, wow, that was close. Um, I am on my way back to Sa- Oh, no, no, Rocky, Rocky, bro. Oh, oh, Whew. that was close. Sorry about that, Rocky. My bad, brother. I almost took you down a China freaking town there, my son. Wow, that was, that was very close. Beware giant freaking ravines, my friends. Horses and giant ravines don't mix very well. <laughs> that is what I have just learned. And I've literally just had a freaking panic attack, man. All right, I'm going to dig myself out of this damn ravine, guys. I'll be back in a second. Man. That was freaking close. Jeez, I'm so sorry, Rocky. 
my bad, dude. I'll try never do that again. Although, actually, I can't make that promise. It probably will happen many times again. That's what happens when you roll with the Ren Diggity Dog. <laughs> oh, man. But anyway, guys, yes, I'm going back to South Africa uh, in seven days' time. I cannot freaking wait. And I have got a jam-packed itinerary. Here's me thinking that I'm going home for a nice little holiday. Going to be chilling just at home for, you know, 30 days. Hanging out with my mama dog and my brothers and my nieces and nephews. Oh, no, no, no. My family has decided that we are going to be basically doing as much as we possibly can in the 30 days that I am home. And you know what? I'm actually not complaining about it because we're going to be doing some really cool stuff. I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about it uh, in this episode. But have a look at this little freaking awesome valley over here. Isn't this cool? Man, this is so awesome. I'm just going to take the, um, the coordinates of those just in case we get some inspiration and want to come back here. Uh, but you know what I've just realized, guys? We do not have a freaking bed right now. That's bad times. Very bad times. So we're going to have to keep our eyes open for some sheep. I know that we just passed some. But um, yeah, if I see any sheep, uh, I'm going to have to murder them. Because <laughs> we're going to need to make a bed pretty soon. Do I have any wood? I don't have any wood either. Okay, so let's find some sheep and some trees. And uh, that way we can prepare ourselves for a night that is incoming. And man, if this uh, if we don't prepare ourselves soon, we could be facing death on this adventure. And that is something that I do not want to face, my friends. If any, there was a time that we did not die. Now is that time because I need to get these acacia saplings home. It is the number one priority for me right now. Uh, man. Okay, so let's just carry on going. It started raining, which means that the darkness has come. Uh, which means there might be some undead spawnage around here. Which I will not be happy about if that occurs. So let's try and make our way through this oakwood forest as soon as we possibly... Oh, sheep! I heard you bleating. Where you at, son? Oh, there you are. Hello there, sheep. Oh, there's a couple of you down here. Rocky, uh, if you don't mind, I got some business to attend to over here, my friend. Just need to hack some sheep into bits. Where are they? Oh, here they are. Hello, sheepies. Okay. Oh, there's more than enough sheep down here. So there's one over here. Give me your, your wool, please. Let's just make some space for that. There's another one over here, I think. Yep, trapped in the leaves. Give me your damn wool, sheep. And yes, there is another one somewhere. There he is. Hello, sheep. Say hello to my little friend. Boop. Give me your freaking wool. <laughs> nice. All right, we're going to have to get a little bit of wood too. So let's just get that in the belly. Uh, what can we get rid of? I want to keep the flint in case I need to make some arrows. I could probably get rid of these rails, actually. Yeah, we can get rid of the, the rails. Uh, we're going to have to make for ourselves a crafting table quickly, though. There we go. And let's just make for ourselves a crafting table, make for ourselves a bed. And that's just going to put my freaking mind at rest here, my friends, because currently I'm kind of panicking a little bit about the sleeping situation. But there we go. That's all sorted. We can pick up those rails again. Okay, nice. Rocky, where you at, son? Where you at? Oh, no. Has our horse gone a-wandering again? Oh, freaking horse. There he is. Man, he's got a freaking mind of his own, man. Rocky is like a free spirit. He just does whatever the jazz he wants. Uh, anyway, we're going in the wrong freaking direction. Anyway, <laughs> so let's get back on track here, my friends. Uh, dang it. All right, back on track we are, my friends. I can't wait to get back to Mole City. I got a lot of stuff to do, man. I got a ton of you guys to get onto the Dogolith and a few of you guys to get into the Cyberdog Monument. We're going to be getting to that at the end of this episode. So stay freaking tuned if you've been wondering what's happening with the Dogolith and whatnot. <laughs> We're going to get there, my friends. We've been on an adventure, okay? Adventure takes preference sometimes. Uh, but yeah, I'm definitely going to try to get home today. Uh, it is my primary goal. Hopefully, Rocky will be able to take me there. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm just thinking about my holiday in South Africa it's gonna be so freaking sweet man I'm flying out from London Heathrow at uh, about half past nine in the evening landing in Cape Town the next morning I think I landed like 5 a.m. or 6 a.m. and there in Cape Town my younger brother Schmidty is gonna come and pick me up my brother is studying in Cape Town at the moment he's a student there at university so I'm very very lucky to have family all over South Africa which is so awesome because it means that I get to go to all of my favorite places and as I suspected there is a freaking ocean here my friends this is not good man this is absolutely not good at all uh, it's very beautiful here though I must I must say look at this. this is an absolutely gorgeous place but we got a problem man because we're gonna need to be able to drag Rocky all the way across this ocean and to do that, we're going to need to find some slime to make a lead. So that is a little bit of a problem. There's a nice little cave over here, though. Check how cool this is. It's a very little cool biome that we found over here, guys. Really cool. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to set up my bed somewhere around here, sleep this night away. And yeah, I'm going to have to plan the next step, uh, the next course of action here, guys. We're going to have to make a lead. 
Welcome back my friends, I'm just sort of traveling along the coastline over here trying to find myself a swamp biome and also some spiders so that we can get some string so we can make a lead. Uh, but yeah, it's kind of beautiful actually just traveling along like this. I wonder if we will eventually get to a piece of land that we can cross if we follow the coastline. That actually might be the solution because check it out, we're still sort of heading in the right direction here, kind of interestingly enough, but it looks like we've run out of land over here. Yeah, we run out of land. So anyway, I'm just going to carry on following the coast around like this until I can find myself a swamp uh, land so I can harvest some slime. But yeah, guys, like I was saying, man, I'm flying out to Cape Town and my brother Schmidt is going to pick me up and we're going to spend a couple of days together in Cape Town. It's going to be absolutely awesome. He, this is his first year at university, so I can't wait to hear all of the stories about all of the girls and all of the jazz that he's been getting up to. And I got to tell you something, man, I haven't spoken a lot about my brother Schmidt on this channel, but he is one amazing freaking dude. Dude, I absolutely love him with all my heart and soul, man. Such an amazing brother, so talented, an absolutely incredible musician, a freaking god on the guitar. And you know what, guys? I, I just have this funny feeling inside of me that, that Schmitty one day is going to be uh, a name that people are going to remember. I, I think that, that, I think that my, my kid brother's got what it takes to, to really make something of himself in this world. I'm so freaking proud of everything he's done, man. And it's going to be so freaking sweet to, to hang out with him and see him. And yeah, I'm going to spend a couple of days with him in Cape Town before the two of us are going to go on a road trip together to meet up with my brother, the real Gox, and his family. We're going to be meeting up with uh, the real Goxy and his wife and his kids, which is going to be absolutely freaking sweet. And then from there, we're traveling a little bit further up the coast to uh, to see where my, to go and, and stay with my parents. Um, and we're staying at the same place that the story that I told you guys a couple of episodes about ago actually happened. I'm going all the way, we're going all the way back to that place where we have holidays. Um, and it's just going to be so freaking awesome to go back there. And you know, I, I absolutely love that place. It's a, it holds a very important part in my, in my heart and in my memories. So many awesome things happened at that place on the coast. And that's where I'm going to be spending uh, half of my October with my parents and with my brothers. So it's going to be so freaking sweet. And then sort of halfway through October, um, I then go with my parents, with my mama and my, my dad. We are going fishing in the north of South Africa. We're going to go there uh, for a, about a week, I think. Um, and we're going to spend the, a, a week or so in the middle of nowhere doing some fishing together. And it's just going to be, it's just going to be amazing. You know, it's been a long time since I've spent some real quality time with my parents. So I'm really, really looking forward to that. Just hanging out with them, you know, talking. And uh, yeah, man, just just catching up, you know, catching up with all these years um, and, and uh, sort of hanging out together. And, and really, you know, what my dad said to me on the phone the other day, he said to me, man, I, you know, we're really looking forward to having you here. We want to be able to smell you uh, in the mornings. That's how long we want you to stay. We want you to, your smell to start infesting our couches and stuff. I was like, man, that's kind of nasty, but thanks. <laughs> Um, but yes, and then after that fishing with my parents, I'm going to Johannesburg to spend about a, a week to 10 days with, with my brother Goxy and his family. I'm going to be staying in their house and it's going to be absolutely awesome. And then after that, I come all the way back to London, England, back to you cyber dogs and back to, to real life, I guess. But it's going to be absolutely amazing, guys. I cannot freaking wait for this holiday. It's been an absolutely crazy year uh, 2015 has been. But I tell you what, man, it's been one of my favorite years ever it's just been amazing basically because of you guys man you guys have just really really given me an amazing year and i i just thank you guys so much for everything that you've done for me this year and we've got such amazing stuff coming up on this uh, rain dog channel guys it's going to be absolutely awesome man if 2015 was good 2016 is going to be even freaking better and i am so hyped and so pumped for this channel right now guys i cannot even tell you man i'm just loving every single second of it um, but speaking of loving, <laughs> we have basically bypassed that ocean somehow. I was very, very worried that we would need to actually cross that ocean, but check it out. We are still heading in the right direction. Uh, it looks like that ocean was sort of a mini ocean or maybe a lake of some kind that we couldn't get past. So that is really cool. But now we're just traveling through what looks like an extreme hills biome. Very, very beautiful around here, it must be said. But yeah, it looks like uh, we're about halfway through another Minecraft day. I'm going to go off camera for a bit, guys, because we've got a ton of traveling to do. And as you can see, the horse slag is starting to kick in. So don't want to put you guys through this pain. I will see you guys back in a second when we're a little bit closer. <laughs> 
Well, very quick update on progress, my friends. I've been traveling through this kind of landscape now for at least 10 minutes. Nothing has changed for a long, long time. It has just been oak forest after oak forest after oak forest. And man, I don't even want to think about how many blocks I've traveled right now. But looking at my XYZ coordinates, we have gone for about 2,500 blocks so far, which is just crazy, man. Absolutely insane. But as you guys can see, progress is going very very slow because rocky doesn't like these freaking trees man driving me crazy let me tell you uh still no sign of a swamp biome just yet i'm still keeping my eyes open for that just in case guys i still have a feeling that we might come across an ocean or something i have no idea from which direction we are approaching uh mole city and the mole hole in i have no idea man we could be coming from the second continent we could be coming from any direction really silkworm gang island direction who freaking knows i have no idea where we are right now so i'm just keeping on trucking and yeah guys as soon as i get a little bit closer or something more interesting comes up i'll bring you back well my friends it's been another thousand blocks since the last progress update and still the environment has not changed it's either been spruce forests or oak wood forests absolutely crazy man i have never seen such vast expanses of the same biome in this game before it's been crazy man rocky and i have just been traveling like crazy we've slept a couple times along the way and we are still going man it looks like another extreme hills biome coming up right now and as you guys can see the game is lagging pretty fierce at the moment i think we're just loading so many blocks at the same time but it looks like oh there does look like there's a the snow biome coming up so a nice little change of scenery but we carry on going guys we're minus 700 minus 760 minus 3600 at the moment no idea where the jazz we are but rocky and i are gonna carry on going until we see the freaking horizon of mole city okay i think i'm dreaming right now i see mossy cobblestone inside of a spruce wood forest and whatever this jazz is i have never seen before either and i think this is mycelium is it not i think we have found another biome that we have never seen before and it is called a mega tega oh my goodness guys this is absolutely insane look at this We've got a source of mossy cobblestone now, which is absolutely freaking amazing. We don't have a lot of space in our inventory right now to collect all of this mossy cobblestone, but I'm going to take the cohorts of this sucker, minus 87, minus 3000. And should I need more mossy cobblestone, I will be coming back right here, man. Also, when I get my hands on a silk touch pickaxe or a silk touch shovel, I need to come back here to collect some of this mycelium. Look how awesome uh, the texture is of this, man. It looks absolutely sweet. I wonder if we'll be able to find one a little bit closer to home but this is amazing how freaking beautiful is this biome guys my goodness this adventure has just been insane we've pretty much discovered everything that we haven't yet discovered in this series in one freaking adventure am i right the last remaining thing that we really need to do in minecraft is go to the end and by the time by the time we do that it's going to be 1.9 and there will be a whole bunch of new stuff to see in the end too from 1.9. So, you know, just a few more things to see and do in Minecraft in this series. I can't believe it, man. Absolutely crazy. But if this is a mega taker, how freaking massive is this, man? This place is absolutely enormous. Look at this. Absolutely ridiculous, man. This is so awesome. Just as I suspected, my friends. A freaking ocean lies before Rocky and I. I've just come out the other side of this Mega Tega. And as you guys can see, we have run out of land right now. Unfortunately, it looks like the coastline might veer around this corner. So I'm just going to follow the coastline once again in search of a swamp. Hopefully we can find a swamp and find some spiders. Because I think that our luck has run out, my friends. I think we're going to have to do some boating and some rocky dragon to get our way home across this ocean. But last time I said that, I was wrong and i managed to find a way around so we're just going to carry on going to see if we can actually dig ourselves out of this proverbial hole my friends hopefully i can come across something that is going to take us across this little ocean or this little lake maybe there's a piece of land that connects this mega tiger to the next section of land that we need to get to in order to get back to mall city so that is the plan right now my friends i'm going to carry on going looks like i'm going to have to sleep the night away though so i'm going to set this up and wait for the sun to go down oh rocky look how tired he is man he has been running for 
for freaking ever now. Look at this. We're at 615, so about another 600 blocks since our last update. So, man, absolutely crazy how far Rocky and I have come so far. When we get back to the mole hole, I'm going to give Rocky some delicious-ass apples, man. He deserves them. Well, friends, I tried to go around the corner there. It didn't work out. We still have a ton of ocean ahead of us right now, which is pretty bad news for me, my friends. It means that I'm going to have to not only find a swamp biome, but I'm going to have to spawn some skeletons around here too. So we're going to have to let the sun go down and uh, basically try and survive a night of killing spiders and getting string so that we can make a lead. Of course, we could just leave Rocky here, but I think you would all agree with me that that would be absolutely absolutely against everything that the cyber dog nation is about we never leave anybody behind and especially not a horse that has taken us across the landscape for so many thousands of blocks who has taken us safely across numerous biomes across numerous pieces of danger there is no freaking ways that we can leave rocky behind guys so you know what i'm gonna have to buckle down and do what i gotta do to get this freaking horse back home safe and sound well guys, as luck would have it, it looks like we could still be heading in the right direction here. It looks like my compass is still pointing all the way to the right hand side over there, but I've sort of followed the coastline all the way around and it seems like the land continues to go around here. I, I'm guessing that this is probably the long way around, uh, that if we went across the ocean it, it would be a lot quicker, but we are slowly but surely making our way towards spawn, even if it, had, even if it means going around this coastline over here. It seems to be working out for us right now. Another giant spruce forest ahead of us and more oak wood forest too, guys. This is what I've been talking about, man. Absolutely nothing new for the last like 4,000 blocks. I haven't seen any villages. I haven't seen any interesting biomes other than that mega tega that we found. It's been a very strange journey, I must say, man. Absolutely weird. And yeah, my face is a little bit too close to Rocky's butthole over here, making me feel uncomfortable. Let's go. Let's get back on this horse and keep going, my friends. Cyberdogs, welcome back to coordinates X2400, Z2300, and just behind me you can see some weird chunkage going on, and this lets me know that we are getting pretty close to home now, my friends. Uh, this weird chunkage occurred when we did a world edit a, f a few seasons ago. I think it was in the middle of season 3 or, or season 2 or something like that, where we wanted to get our Minecraft world, which was a very old one, into to an updated 1.6 world I think it was or perhaps perhaps a 1.7 world and when we did that we managed to break a few of the chunks um, and wait wait it's the cyber dog driving we're right here oh my goodness oh that is amazing what am I even talking about here we are guys we've got we've managed to get back home which is absolutely amazing rocky has taken us all the way back home and what a sight for sore eyes that cyber dog driving is my friends let me tell you something looking at my watch now i've been recording for an hour and 20 minutes most of that has been traveling through the wilderness with rocky it's been crazy it's been amazing we've seen some epic stuff we found a mega tiger and along in this adventure we have also uh, managed to get ourselves some acacia saplings which is absolutely insane and here we are back home at last i am so freaking happy to be home oh my goodness i can never get tired of coming ho home to mole city coming home to my freaking minecraft world guys let me tell you something it is the greatest feeling in the freaking world man let's just get over here and get our buttholes in to this place because we need to sleep the night away the sun has gone down we don't want any of our villagers to be attacked while we are around let's go straight into the stables rocky my friend let's Let's get you into the stables. Actually, while we're here, let's just get this uh, the sleep on, shall we? There we go. Just make sure that nothing goes wrong. N absolutely nothing can go wrong right now, guys. We have had such an incredible freaking adventure. Rocky, where you gone, my son? <laughs> oh my goodness. Where have you gone, bro? What the jazz? Well, I can't express in words how freaking happy I am to be back in the mole hall, guys. This feels so freaking awesome. Rocky and I have managed to come home safe and sound, and I'm going to stick Rocky right in this freaking pen with Atreyu. They can get to know one another. Atreyu, you be nice to Rocky, okay? He has had a really long-ass journey. Rocky, as I promised, you can have all the apples. There you go. You guys get to know each other. Be friends now, you hear? Oh, man, this is so freaking sweet. Oh, 
Sigh of relief, my friends. We did it. We got home with the acacia saplings intact, with six diamonds, some freaking books, and man, am I feeling good about today's adventure. I heard a few zombies moaning over there, so let's just make sure everything is okay around here. Yeah, it doesn't look like anything too bad is going on. Looks like Diablo's been going crazy on Beatrice's crops over there, but other than that, everything is looking pretty decent. I think the zombies were probably stuck in a cave or something down here uh, but man we've got so much stuff still to do though my friends i'm looking at my clock and we have been playing minecraft for a long ass time now so you know what without further freaking ado i've got a few things left to do in today's episode uh, and the first thing that we're going to do guys is head over the, to the dogolith to get 16 more of you cyber dogs immortalized in the interbubs forever Oh man, my friends, it feels so freaking good to be doing Dogolith entries again. I haven't even taken my sweaty ass armor off yet, man. But starting with Dogcraft.net users today, we have got Mr. Jonah Jacob, Daryl Ehir, a dead corpse, and Lub888. Also from Dogcraft.net, we have got Lewaltheon, Acid Trip 2580, Cyber Doggy Dog and Sad Algorithm 49. Welcome to the Dogolith, my friends. You have been immortalized in the interbubs forever. And thank you for being a subscriber and watching my videos. And now from YouTube subscribers, my friends, we have got Super Kirumaru, Scientist B, Trey Berry Hill, and Three Coin Star. Also from YouTube, we have got Timothy Miazella, Ryan Lamarca, Stealth Bomber 716, and High Level Gaiman. Welcome to the Dogolith, my friends. Thank you for being subscribers. Thank you for being Cyber Dogs. And thank you for all of your support. You have been immortalized in the interbubs forever. And the moon is coming up, my friends, which means we need to go and sleep ASAP, quick, fast, and in a hurry. Next up, we're going over to the Cyber Dog Monument, my friends, where we have got a few Cyber Dogs to be added to the Cyber Dog Monument. And after that, we're going to be saying goodbye for today. Wow, what a jam packed episode! It's been sweet! Welcome back to the Cyberdog Monument, my friends, a monument that I have built for the Patreons of the Cyberdog Nation to thank them for their generous contributions to this channel. And I cannot freaking believe it that this one section of the Cyberdog Monument is almost completely filled with Cyberdogs. We're going to have to start moving on to one of these segments pretty soon, which is absolutely awesome. But today, my friends, we have got three more Cyberdogs to be adding into the Cyberdog Monument, and I've stuck them over here with a beautiful view of Mob Castle behind us over there. Very, very cool. And today, please welcome to the Cyber Dog Monument, Drew Man Fu, Dan Daug, and When I Own You. A huge thanks to the three of you for your generous contributions that you have made to my channel and to keeping this place up and a running. Thank you so much to you and of course to all of the other Cyber Dog Patreons uh, who have donated or have become VIPs on dogcraft.net over the last few years. You guys are absolutely awesome. Well, Cyberdogs, here we are back in Mole City, back in the heart of our Minecraft survival world. We've made it back safe and sound. We've got acacia saplings to plant, and we have got a ton of beautiful things to craft around here. Cannot freaking wait to carry on with this series, guys. I really hope you enjoyed our adventure. I had an absolutely amazing time, and I'm very glad to be back. Thank you so much for watching this episode, my friends. And if you did enjoy it, you hit that like button. And remember, guys, if you hadn't subscribed, yet you hit that freaking subscribe button my name has been ren diggity dog we've been playing minecraft survival i will see you guys in the next episode